so this is the chapter electromagnetic induction now this chapter carry without option this chapter carry 5 marks and with option there will be 7 marks so here we are going to solve our first type of question that is one marks question very short answer vs a so this comes under section a so each question carry one marks so first question is here from your question bank provided by maharashtra board state faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so there are two laws related to faraday one which is quantitative and another one is qualitative first law state that whenever there is change in magnetic flux associated with coil an emf is induced in the coil so this law is qualitative law as it only indicate the characteristic of induced emf when there is a change in magnetic flux then emf will induce in this coil the second law is the magnitude of induced emf is directly proportional to rate of change of flux through the coil so here rate of change of flux means this phi stand for magnetic flux and rate of change means with respect to always time so this law is known as quantitative law as it gives the magnitude of induced emf now second question state mathematical relation between number of turns so number of turns denoted by n capital n in primary coil to the secondary coil in step up transformer so they have given step up transformer so here we have to show what will be the mathematical relation between number of turns in primary to the secondary coil so here is answer mathematical relation between number of turns in primary coil to the secondary coil so the number of turns in secondary coil is more than its primary coil what does it mean the transformer is shown by like this so here number of secondary coil is maximum so this is primary coil and this is motion and this is secondary coil so here we have number of prime uh, turns in primary coil and this is secondary coil so here you will find number of turns in this first coil we call it as primary coil is less as compared to this so to remember this what we can say is step up so this is your first step and this is your second step so suppose step up you are uh, moving toward next step so that's why you, uh, in that way you can understand so the secondary coil has maximum number of turns and there are another relation also induced emf will be greater in secondary coil than primary coil current in secondary coil will be less as compared to the primary coil and this is your final mathematical relation now next question is state condition at which we say two the two coils kept close to each other are perfectly coupled with each other now this condition is if coefficient of coupling which is denoted by k if coefficient of coupling is equal to 1 if it is equal to 1 the two coil will be perfectly coupled okay means if k will be equal to 1 then two coils will be perfectly coupled so mutual inductance will be given by under root l1 into l2 the next is state lenz law what is lenz law the direction of induced current in a circuit is such that magnetic field produced by induced current opposes the change in magnetic flux that induces the current so this will be give you about information about direction so what is that the direction of induced current in a circuit 
is such that magnetic field produced by induced current opposes the change in magnetic flux that induces the current the direction of induced emf is same as that of induced current so whatever external magnetic field we are going to apply due to that there will be current generated in the coil that we call as induced current and according to magnetic effect due to current we know that when there will be flow of current in a wire they produce magnetic field around it so that we call as induced magnetic field and that magnetic field will go into opposed magnetic flux now next question is a pair of adjacent so it is numerical a pair of adjacent coil has mutual inductance of 1.5 henry if the current in one coil varies from 0 to 20 ampere in 0.5 second what is charge of flux linked with other now this is similar example from your textbook unsolved example number 6 page number 286 so what they have given adjacent coil of mutual inductance mutual inductance denoted by m it is denoted by capital m and it is 1.5 henry in your given question if current in one coil varies from 0 to 20 ampere so this will will be initial current and this one will be final current and this is that time interval delta t so 0.5 will be delta t what we have to calculate flux link okay means rate of change of flux linkage rate of change of flux linkage so rate of change of flux is nothing but delta phi because phi is magnetic flux divided by delta t is equal to m delta i by delta t because rate of change of flux is nothing but mutual inductance into rate of change of current so m is given 1.5 then delta i is nothing but 20 minus final current minus initial current divided by delta t when you will solve this so here you will get delta phi by delta t is equal to 60 weber per second but what we have to calculate actually what do we have to calculate rate of change of flux okay what is change of flux we have to calculate so we have calculated rate of change of flux now what we have to calculate change of flux linked with other coil so that is nothing but just delta t will goes there so delta phi which is change of flux equal to 60 into delta t and delta t is nothing but 0.5 so 0.5 and to 60 will give you 30 weber so this is your proper answer the next question is question number 6 again it is numerical an aircraft of wing span of 50 meter flies horizontally in earth magnetic field of 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla at a speed of 400 meter per second calculate emf generated between the tip of the wing of the air craft so here length of that air wings is given that is l is equals to 50 meter then magnetic field earth magnetic field is given horizontal component so 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla then velocity is given 400 meter per second what do we have to calculate induced emf so it is given by blv so this is simplest formula e is equal to blv b 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 l 50 and v 400 when you will multiply all the quantity you will get e is equal to 1.2 volt induced emf 1.2 volt so this is again textbook unsolved example number 9 page number 286 now here we have our last question again it is numerical for one mark a coil of self inductance 3 henry self inductance denoted by capital l 
carries a current of 2 ampere current denoted by 2 ampere i what is energy stored so what here we have to calculate energy stored in magnetic field it is denoted by ub u stand for energy and b stand for magnetic field so ub is nothing but half l i square half l i square so it will be half l we have 3 and i we have 2 2 to the power 2 so 1 2 and 1 2 here we are going to be cancelled and 3 into 2 is 6 so ub is equal to 6 joule so this is magnetic field which is stored this energy is stored in magnetic field